what is happening in your constituents. Thank you very much, Chair. Chair number one, uh, I am Babu Oino, member for Mbakasi East constituency, where the said tragedy took place. Chair, I came here in the capacity of a member of parliament representing the great people of Mbakasi East constituency. And Chair, such a tragedy can befall any member of parliament. Chair, we were elected to represent the interest of our people. Today, it is about Embakasi's constituency. Tomorrow, we'll hear about another constituency. And therefore, Chair, the people who passed on in Embakasi's constituency, the numbers have gone to around 10. The people who were injured, Chair, are over 300 in number with serious bans. And we know, Chair, that with the exposure of these bans, our people risk getting infections and losing water through dehydration. And we may end up losing more lives. Chair, I came here to get answers from the Cabinet Secretary, irrespective of our political parties. Because when we are here, we are representing the interest of Kenyans. And Chair, it is an insult under the doctrine of separation of powers, checks and balances, for a cabinet secretary not to obey the orders, the summons, the invitation given by this honorable Senate. And it is even a greater insult to you as the chair that if the cabinet secretary cannot listen to you as the chair, what about other members of parliament? What about other Kenyans. And therefore, Chair, the Cabinet Secretary for Energy, Mr. David Chirchir, has proven to be an unreliable witness who, on the witness stand, should be impeached. When a witness is unreliable, then impeachment of a witness must always follow. Because, Chair, the Cabinet Secretary is both criminally culpable why? Because they did say that they did not issue the license. But the problem is, because he owes the great people of Kenya a duty of care and became negligent, he ought to have followed up and known that this company that is not issued with the license to trade, why is it proceeding to trade? And is also vicariously liable under the law of tort and chair. Our people are suffering. I was just showing my senator and my secretary general a photo of a young man, 14 years old, who passed on yesterday. If you look at those two photos, chair, the bodies haven't been removed from different hospitals, released from different hospitals. Bills are accumulating, both in public hospitals and private hospitals. Today, we've just organized for a prayer day to pray for these victims. And chair, it is really a big shame if the cabinet secretary can leave this country, Kenya, in this state, going to another country, claiming that he wants to serve the interests of Kenyans that he's serving, while Kenyans are already dead and some are dying. Who does he want to go and get those interests for if Kenyans are all dead? Which population will he have? So, Chair, it is a really sad state of affair to be here just because a cabinet secretary probably feels very important compared to other members here. Meanwhile, he doesn't have a democratic responsibility that is bestowed on us by the electorate. Otherwise, thank you.